Hello guys, I welcome you to my another video about tools. Someone calls it cordless dragon bread or battery discharger, but actually it is Parkside cordless hot air gun. PHLGA 20-LIA1. Once you open the paper box, you notice 0.5 kilo tool, quite lightweight if you ask me. Then three adapters. and one paint scratcher. Plastic container box is not included, I suppose because people would throw glowing hot air gun in there and then scream as their box gets melted. So it would have to be made of asbestos and since asbestos isn't anything good for your lungs, Lidl did good not including the plastic case. The first thing we notice is the same first look and layout as a drill. At first I was horrified that this tool can both blow or suck air. But fortunately I was in error. It is just a safety switch in order not to accidentally turn the gun on. You need to move this to any side first to unlock the trigger and then you can blow as much as you want. I would rather like to see palm engaged safety switch. The light emitting diode here is rather unusual for hot air gun if you ask me. This gun can be operated in three modes. Maximum heating which is supposed to be 550 degrees celsius. Then medium heating that should be 250 degrees celsius and no heating just blowing we will measure that this black cover can be taken off so you probably see whether the internals have melted or not never use it with 2 amp hour battery just like angle grinder this gun would not perform well and cause significant wear and overheat to the battery only use 4 amp hours to see it perform in industrial conditions i took it to work and made it shrink 24 heat shrink tubes on 35 mm squared copper wire it did it and battery still had 18.5 volts remaining that would give me another approximately 10 or more heat shrinks. The internal resistance of the Parkside battery is taken in account in this approximation. Let's see it in video. If you happen to be interested in power consumption, here you are. So in conclusion we have found out that this gun is quite capable. 
To be honest, I thought it would be much worse. It is useful as hell for smaller heat shrinks as they are shrinked almost instantly. And if power grid goes out and you have no blowtorch, you can use this tool to heat shrink even bigger heat shrinks. This gun has approximately 290 watts, but thanks to the low airflow, the air is quite hot and does the job. It did cost me approximately 20 euros and I must say well spent 20 euros. I would recommend that before you put it back on shelf, let it run for a minute on cold air so it cools down a little. If it manages to melt or break any other way, I will of course inform you. In the meantime, goodbye and see you in another tools video.